Once my Swedish friends, David and Leon Flamhawk, and I had made our film in the Peruvian jungle, the House of the Tiger King, we were knocking about in London trying to work out what we would do as a second film project because the TV station was desperate for another film from us. And in a moment of madness, I suggested to them that we follow a subject that my father and grandfather and other members of my family had been preoccupied with. And that was searching for the greatest lost treasure in human history, the lost treasure of Mughal India, which as everyone knows, is lost still in Afghanistan. It's the lost treasure that took 12,000 horses and I think 4,000 camels to transport it um, westward from India towards Iran when it was taken by Nadir Shah. So we had this idea that we'd go and search for it. Firstly, we were put in torture prison in Pakistan while doing pre-production, which is a whole other story. And finally, in 2006, we started going to Afghanistan, which at the time was just about the most dangerous place on earth and still pretty dangerous. We crisscrossed Afghanistan, mostly with me holding a cage in which there was a hoopoe bird because apparently the legend says only the man who holds a hoopoe will find the treasure. And we were shot at and we were attacked and we had all kinds of extraordinary experiences. The kind of experiences that a normal traveler doesn't have because a normal traveler isn't looking for the greatest lost treasure in the world. 